Hi, I'm Graham Lancaster from Graham Lancaster Auctions here in Toowoomba. And this Sunday, the 2nd of February, we have our big annual blokey auction. This is the weekend of the Toowoomba car swap. And here in our Toowoomba auction rooms, right behind Lancaster's Antique Centre, we hold our big once a year garage nalia sale. This is one of the best auctions in Australia of enamel signs, garage nalia, oil bottles and racks, petrol pumps, uh, pedal cars, the list goes on and on. There's the catalogue, ladies and gentlemen. It's also online on our website at www.gdlauctions.com.au. Now, as I said, this is a live audience auction. We also have full absentee bidding facilities and it is a live internet auction. If you go to our website, here you can click on the link to register, pre-bid, and you can bid live on Sunday and listen to the entire auction in real time. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to give you a quick run through. There's about 500 or so lots. We're just going to go for a quick walk around the auction. We're all but set up. So, ladies and gentlemen, first we're starting here with all these great six by three signs, the plume, and just as we move along here, we haven't set all of these up yet, but you've got vacuum, Ampol, Texaco, a huge big Castrol there at the back. In here, you've got some various laurels. And just up here on the uh, veranda, we've got little Deli May. This is our little auction room dog. She's gorgeous, isn't she? There she is, good girl, she's our guard dog. Huge big uh, Coca-Cola sign there. Right at the end is a very rare sign, Purple. That was a, uh, a small oil company that worked mostly in uh, southern Queensland and northern New South Wales. Any of their stuff is rare, rare. Okay, the box lots to start. Now these are for floor bidders only. You can't bid on these as an absentee bidder on the internet. But as you can see, there's whole box lots of tins, some great little handy oilers and things there, all sold in box lots. These are box lots of oil bottles, uh, some good ones too, embossed anagols, all of these original tops, all being sold as box lots as we work through. The back there you've got some kerosene boxes with also the, uh, with the wooden ends there. More interesting box lots of tobacco tins, Coca-Cola. Uh, then you've got some good early uh, tins here, the big four gallon, the early Neptunes, the golden fleece. If you just go around the corner there, you'll see some other different ones there. You've got the Kendall, the Esso, more Neptune and Red X. A uh, few pedal cars here to start, nice early one here, a big Cyclops in the middle. Uh, so that's a nice uh, early trike as well. All of these high boys here, they're all original, totally original with original uh, decals and livery there. They've been untouched. At the end, here's an interesting item. This is the Ocean Motion washing machine from around 1900. It's a wooden washing machine, and that really is mu a museum piece. That's a great piece. Up here, you've got some nice signs just here. You've got the big SO, these are all double sided, the Texaco, the SO, and the SO Lean. A couple of very early signs of these, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the Atlantic and the secondary sign for lubrication. They're down in condition, they're 1920s, and they're very, very early signs. Come on through to the courtyard and we'll have a look. So down here we've got a great selection of signs. If you'd like to just come on in, we'll just have a look up there and just run down. Now these are all original signs, they're all going to be sold on the day. Just close the door there. We'll just do a run down here. All of these signs, this is the beginning of the auction here. Along the top here, you've got a nice big embossed early Dunlop. And various signs here for insurance companies, petrol, uh, Sunbeam uh, Cooper machinery. Up here is a nice local one, a tin sign here for Southern, Southern Cross Machinery. They made the windmills, of course, and also a nice early pairs. Uh, some rack signs, quite an interesting shut the gate sign. I think that's a rare sign, that plume. If you just like to scroll up in there, we can see all the various signs, the big Atlantic. Down the bottom is a fantastic big sign for players' navy cut cigarettes with a sailor. In the corner there, you can see the COR, that's an embossed shield. Nice Cooper's fluid up the top there. The Queensland Saving Bank's a beauty. Hidden down there in the corner is the classic Cooper sheep dip with the blowfly. You can see him down there. And up the top, above the barbecue here, we've got the 4 and 20 pies. There it is there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, over on this side here, we've got about six or eight uh, petrol pumps. There you can see them there in the corner there. There's an early Earl. That's actually a rotor fridge in the corner, a round fridge, and the, the uh, shelves in the inside spin around. Uh, we've got a nice early uh, barber's chair there. Original condition, needs restoring. This one here is interesting. This is the uh, skeleton EPEX sign, EPEX uh, pump. Quite an early one there as well. London Underground sign, every man cave needs one of those. Just come over here to these pumps. You've got the Shell Chariot that's been beautifully restored with the Shell Livery. In the corner there, the big cast iron um, post box, a great a cast alloy fire alarm. And then some nice pumps here. You've got the clock face, you've got the early uh, Udo, 
nice early Australian one, the Hammond with all the guts, and of course the nice big square line one there in the corner. Okay, let's move inside and we'll have a look. This is the main, main action room. Okay, we've got some ni more nice pedal cars again. We've got the Cyclops here, the Cyclops Clipper. And this one at the end here is a very early Hippo. That's a rare pedal car. If you have a look on top here, uh, an old uh, advertising light from uh, Ips Ipswich. That's the old Winter Garden Theatre. Big tree, of course, is from New Zealand. Great kids, uh, a uh, toolbox there for the kids. And then group lots here of various um, motor car ornaments there, RACQ, etc. Mack truck, of course. These are interesting along the bottom here. All interesting um, kerosene boxes there from some very rare companies there. Pratt's, Waratah, the Parrot, some beauties. You just go into the corner here. We've got this great bar light here. So it's, um, it's, a, it's a lit up clock and it's actually a, a bar, bar bench as well. So very interesting piece. In the corner there, you've got some nice early signs. You've got round trees, Cadbury's, Mick McQuaid, a great pictorial up the top there is the Phoenix. And then moving over there to uh, the Life Boy, of course. And if you'd just like to come in here, come with me, Pete, this way. We'll just come on in. We'll just have a look up at these signs here. All these great pictorials here along the top. The Jones is in stunning condition. Over here, the Players Navy Cup, very rare with a red background. Some other nice ones there for tea and tobacco. This is a classic. This is the uh, Monkey brand snuff with the monkey on. One of the most classic signs worldwide. Okay, in here we've got all original Fry's mirrors. These are, this first one of course is Arnott's. Then all of these Fry's mirrors, they're all Victorian and Edwardian. They're all originals, original frames, and these are hard to get. This collection's been put together over about 30 years, and we're selling it all on Sunday. Here we've got all the original Cadbury's and Fry's chocolate boxes. They're wooden with paper label. Look at that stunning one there for Baltimore Assorted. Then here with the Pixies. Absolutely beautiful graphics all along the bottom again being sold as pairs and singles in the corner These are butchers boxes for sausages and ham and then this cabinet here some beautiful This is an original barber pole sign here enamel again nice dark die cut turf some great little signs here Very rarely do you ever see original Mallox dog foods. They're mostly reproduction, but that's the real deal Some interesting tin signs here from Tasmania kill that flies a beauty in the back here again, great original tin signs for kiwi, uh, polish, Dennis's pig powders, that's a beauty. And then down here we've got some group lots of ephemera, advertising show cards. They're all being sold in big group lots, those. Okay, so if we just like to move up to here, some more big advertising mirrors there for Cadbury's. A classic sign is the Round Trees chocolate, showing the York factory, original, and that is regarded as one of the best pictorials in the world. Some great tobacco tea tins here. All along the top there, these signs here are tin, of course. Uh, Solvol and Guardian, they're beauties. One of the best signs in the auction is the Maddox from Shrewsbury, the removalist truck. Absolute stunner. Another very rare sign in the corner there is Bendigo Cigarettes. It's actually an Irish sign. Uh, and there you'll see the land owners throwing stones at the, the native that has stolen the, the cigarette box. So a fantastic piece of advertising. And just scroll along the top there. More cigarette signs, the sunlight soap, great South British insurance in the middle. This piece here is interesting, local history. Uh, it was a, a, a car going from Toowoomba to Brisbane back in the 1920s. And there it is there with the local Trevor, Trevorden family in that. Okay, again in here we've got some nice tins. The chip tins here are from a local Jays from Brisbane. Never seen those before. And some very nice tea and uh, household tins here, the classic Billy tea in the back. This jelly bean tin is a beauty, Australian jelly beans. This is a local tin here, the QFC butter, from uh, Laidley and Grantham, just down the bottom of the Toowoomba range. Undoubtedly our best selection ever of tobacco tins, some of the rarest in Australia, the ED tobacco. The hero with the soldier is exceptionally rare. Uh, the golden prize, the American glory is extremely rare. The back there you've got the two different sizes and the sunny girls, this here at the back from uh, Bayless from North Queensland again is another extremely rare tin. Right at the back there you've got the V8, fantastic Brisbane tin here. Then if we just come around the corner here, some nice Queensland tins. One of Australia's uh, most recognised tins is a Far Lap tobacco tin. Another Sunny Boy there and the Sunny Girl there is a rare one there and Mariba. So a great selection. Down the bottom here these are all gramophone needle tins. These are from the Noel Wyville collection and they're being sold in their various groupings of four or six. So some beautiful 
highly decorative and colourful pictorial gramophone needle tins. So come with me now. We'll just come and have a look over this way. Again, some stunning pictorial signs here. These are all originals. The crowbar tobacco has got to be one of the, the nicest signs in the world, in my, in my opinion. Uh, you very rarely ever see the prize crop. The Hudson's is a classic. The monkey brand with the monkeys of beauty. And then if you have a look here, you've got the two different Palathorps. These were actually a sandwich board with the sausages and the pork pie. Now, this is one of the best pictorials in the world, the Phillips T. We sold one last year, but this one is absolutely stunning condition. Original Peter's Light here. This does work and light up. Got some nice pictorials down here for Tower T, Thorley's Pigs, Alan's Piano. That's actually a Simpson Adelaide sign, that one. Here you've got a nice uh, champion clock. Uh, I should say thermometer. And then you've got the tins here. Just stroll along the top. We'll just work our way down. They're all being sold in pairs and triples. G'day, Barb, in the office. Say hello. There's Barb, our office girl. Okay, moving right along here, we've got mobile oils, we've got castrol. They're all being sold in pairs and groups. A couple of nice early individual ones there. Look at the condition of the Neptune there. And again, just scrolling right across. Down the bottom, you've got various enamel signs for uh, directional signs. Some rare ones from Mangalala, Public Gate, Bullia, out near Birdsville. Okay, moving up here, we've got a great selection of golden fleece, so come on in. I'll just uh, give you a look there. Up the top there, that's an original Perspex ram, and it's also an original um, uh, light box there, right over there. And then as you go along the tins here, they're being sold in pairs. Some of them are individual, just move along. Various ages, various uh, designs and conditions, but a wonderful lot of golden fleece. The Hex bottles of beauty, that's an original. All oil bottles in this sale are genuine. There are no reproductions. Uh, this is an original new old stock tin sign from an oil rack. Nice early Hex tins there, down in condition a bit. And then you move along, great condition, the little Hex there in the middle. The handy oilers and the upper cylinder lubes. These are classic signs, and uh, classic tins, and look at the condition of them. Extremely rare is the superwash sign, that's an original. Uh, new old stock, never used, never seen that one before. And again, some more, more pieces here being sold in groups, pairs, etc. There's a wonderful lot of advertising uh, cabinets in this sale, and there's not much better than this one here is the Wall Mounted Fries Chocolate, the Victorian from around 1890. Um, absolutely beautiful with the etched glass. If you'd just like to come with me now, we'll go around here and we'll have a look at uh, the rest of these. So just come this way. This beautiful Arnott's piece here, just come right around. I've had a few of these over the years, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, just keep coming with me. A few of these over the years. They're double-sided. They're illuminated. This is the only one I've ever had that's actually got the uh, spinning mechanism on the base, so it's electrified and it actually turns. That is a beautiful piece of Australiana. As I said, we've got some superb advertising cabinets. These never come on the market. I've never had this one before. The little fries chocolate with the, um, with the curved glass. All original paper labels on the back. But this is uh, the gem, the nice big fries chocolates. I imagine that in a, in a shop full of chocolates, how enticing that would have been for the kids. This is a great piece here. Uh, Mitchell Cigarette, this is, again is an advertising cabinet with all the slide out drawers for the various uh, different types of tobacco. Again, Edwardian, an original condition of beauty. Some nice little signs here. This pair here are very interesting, sort of light horse period, 1920s, um, from... Um, uh, from the um, Ministry of Agriculture and the War Office over in London. So a great pair of signs. In here, these are all originals, all the different shut the gate signs for plume. They're all originals, those. The little Cracker Jack is a classic Australian enamel sign with the sailor on it. And up the end there, of course, a double-sided sign, Bowser Top, Plume Abatonic. Again, a fantastic sign there. OK, if you'd like to have a look, these are all being sold. These are in groups. So you get all the shell oil bottles, Embossed bottles with the original tin tops. Well, as I said, all of these bottles, there are no reproductions, reproductions at all. Some of these tin tops are. These are reproductions, as you can see quite, quite clearly. Uh, again, you've got Anagol bottles there, original tops. All of the Texicos are all being sold in a group of five. Um, tin sign, tin uh, oil rack there. A nice original oil rack here is the mobile oil. And then you've got five embossed mobile oil bottles, all with original tin tops. There are no reproductions here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just up the top there, either side of the auctioneer's table, you've got the uh, vacuum oil company Pegasus. Uh, now, they call them the scone cutters, of course. They're 3D. They're in superb original condition. No repairs, no splits, no cracks. 
They're being sold individually, but they are absolutely stunning. As is this illuminated sign up here, this original Australian light box with glass panels. One side is the Rodeo Twist uh, trousers. And if we just go to the other side there and turn around, you've got the Carnotarum trousers with the elephant and the bulldog. Original, working, museum quality. If we'd just like to come over this way here, just up the top there, the nice big 6x3 sign, shell look for the yellow disc, with, of course, uh, the petrol pump on the end there. Beautiful sign, original condition, no touch-ups. A great selection of signs. You've got the running oil, running board uh, tins here from um, running board off the side of the old vintage cars. Some nice early shell tins. Uh, you get a set of six of the original tin tops there. Again, some nice interesting uh, running board tins. All of these bottles are original embossed. Some rare brands, you have Esso, Golden Fleece, Ampole, the list goes on and on. Atlantic, Mobile, some of them are individuals, some of them being sold in groups. Two more Bowser top signs, uh, double-sided of course, vacuum and plume. The supercharged sign, of course, with the original bracket. Now this is double-sided, would have sat on top of a petrol pump and the globe would have gone inside. Again, some really nice shell pieces, some nice pieces here, a couple of different shut the gate signs. That's quite a rare one. And then you've got a couple of directional signs in there. And again, more oil bottles, a couple of nice little Neptunes there, great tops on them. Original Castrol tops being sold in pairs and threes. You can all see them there. Okay, that's a reproduction uh, shell there, but still good for a petrol pump. Now these are very, very rare. The directional signs made for the Shell Service Company, Marie, Birdsville, Queensland, Udenadatta, the double-sided post office signs of beauty. Now this is original. This is a milk glass Bowser top globe for Shell with the, uh, the uh, Shell embossing on it. Uh, along the bottom here, you can see these are all being sold in groups of threes and pairs. You've got Shell, Anagol, got Ampol here. And just moving along, you've got the Anagol again. Some very early Shell, nice early Texaco. Again, pairs of Valvoline, Castrol, Castrolite and Esso. Here's some very rare directional signs. These never come along. I think this is the rarest one of all, is the, sh the Shearing Shed Quarters. A great double-sided sign of very much, very much Australian. Enaminka and Cordilla Downs. One of the best signs in the auction here is the single double triple. Full gloss, no repairs, near mint condition, every collector's dream. Another nice little shell sign up here, a nice early one. To finish the sale, we've got the, the Goodyear sign. Again, an embossed Goodyear sign. And that's going to finish the auction, ladies and gentlemen. 530 lots. They're going to be sold here in our Toowoomba auction rooms on Sunday. Go to our website at www.gdlauctions.com.au. Check out the website. You can pre-register to do online bidding. You can actually do pre-bidding and listen and bid live at the auction on Sunday. So we'll see you here in the Garden City on Sunday. The swap meets tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. And we'll see you here in Royal Street, behind the Antique Centre in Railway Street. Thank you very much, folks, and happy collecting.